Oh, look at her face. Barbara has a lot more than just syphilis. And she's one of the kinds of- Wait, two women? This- this can't be happening. Wait, football? With two women? Ah. Yeah, uh, this is FIFA 20, 20, 24. The last video of the whole saga that made this channel what it is today. In the case of anything that we do on these types of videos, you can check out pretty much every single one of these 2024 according to FIFA something. We pretty much go through an old FIFA simulating all of the seasons up until 2024, seeing all the champions, Premier League champions, Champions League champions, all the leagues across Europe, and sometimes the world when you lot just keep on telling us to react of to react the Portuguese leagues, the Dutch league, the Argentinian league. Why the fuck would you want us to watch the Argentinian league in 2024? Are you fucking pedophile? Oh, and also check Ballon d'Or winners. But what we've been doing recently is just putting the Ballon d'Or winners uh, at the end of the video, just in case we don't really miss them. We just put a note of them, a mental note of them, and then just pretty much put them at the end of the video so we don't confuse any of the information we just say about every single season. Also, throughout the whole progression of everything, we have a uh, world-class scouting tab uh, for every single player above the rating of what, like, 79 80 so players relevant to the time frame we're recording this fifa 20 is pretty much a recent one but at the same time a lot of shit has happened since summer 2019 so we're gonna probably see ansu fati going to a ballon d'or contender position when nowadays ansu fati is just a walking hospital bed and talking about fatty maybe hazard might not be that fatty <laughs> i mean he is the logo of the like, he is in the cover of the entire game. He pretty much catfishes the whole entire network by pulling his shirt in front of himself. Also, most videos we're going to be doing throughout this period on are going to be recommended by all you creepos on Discord. So, if you if you have any interest on in trying to help, e help a brother out on content creation, you can power on your video ideas on what you want to see us recording in the Discord chat right in the description. Just join in you have, if you have a Discord account and you like seeing 13-year-old girls' feet. Like most this this called creeps and pedophiles. I mean, I'm, I can't promise you underage girls, but I can promise you a room with a lot of retards. I think I'm I'm not able to speak English that well anymore. Do you feel like that? That your English abilities just keep on declining? Probably because I don't live in an English speaking country apart from you. I mean, I do, but I try to escape it constantly. I want to find a one. Br I mean, first I need to find a British person, and we all know they don't exist. I need to ask them if they're happy living in in the UK. It, it doesn't really happen how can you talk to them about living in the uk they don't really say anything they just drink beer yes i am not fucking drunk why is my manager rating 98 i haven't signed any I, I, I'm, I'm too fucking busy on constantly trying to say the same shit i always say in these videos of course the manager rating is at 98 I haven't done shit, I just keep letting the players do whatever the fuck they want. The game is based on simulation alone. It's, it's broken, it's fucking broken. Kalidou Koulibaly, the most expensive transfer in the summer transfer window of 2019. 80 million pounds for Manchester City. Considering what he did at Chelsea, don't, don't do it. I mean, this was the time that Chiro Mobile was a European Golden Shoe winner at Lazio, and I'm gonna be the best striker in Europe. But then again, Real Madrid already have Benzema, Real Madrid already have a promising Luka Jovic. Don't need to keep on playing three strikers at the same time by the way they still have Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo in their teenage years and Immobile does like diving like a fucking Olympic diver so probably did replace uh Koulibaly on a great manner because Jose Maria Jimenez is four years younger than Koulibaly and I'd say that he's as good as Koulibaly as well and then we find Borussia Dortmund just being Borussia Dortmund what are you gonna do with the Iago Aspas at 32 years old, for 50 million, for 50 million, his ceiling is Celta Vigo. The prime of his career is a Celta Vigo. It's like saying that the best years of your life were spent in Newcastle. Now this would have been a lot more satisfying to see. Donny van der Beek, just coming from that season with Ajax, winning the league and getting to the Champions League semi-finals. At just 22, signing for the correct Manchester club instead of that mess circus of all gonna social and judging by his overall what overall is he let me let me check let me check 83 83 with a stamina of 92 without getting complacent and fucking lazy being on pep guardiola system this boy's gonna shine where's donny van der beek nowadays anyway can, can you answer can you search that, that for me john he's probably dead benadeski boring kramaric boring Random slave. Don as a Liverpool fan, are you happy with Nelson Semedo instead of Trent Alexander Arnold? Jeez. Right. This is also the season that Nelson Semedo had his life amputated and put into life support by Alfonso Davies. Listen, you have three 
strikers already, Immobile, Benzema, and Jovic. Bringing in Dzeko doesn't do you any favors. If anything, it brings the age range of the squad to point of retirement. Your Real Madrid, you shouldn't be hoping on Dzeko headers to win you a Champions League. I'm too tired of constantly going through every single FIFA and seeing Benjamin Mendy on a transfer and having to talk about a... <laughs> Like any LGBT movement and anything regarding like sexuality to me is gay. Like if you're lesbian, you're gay. If you're trans, you're gay. If you're non-binary, you're just stupid. I forgot how these videos just normally, we don't really talk about FIFA. We just start rambling about different topics. It's the magic. What magic? You, you passed the limit. I think, I think you should be revoked of your human rights. <laughs> Jokes on you. I already had no rights. <laughs> yeah, remember lockdown Arsenal? Yeah, they just gave up on life. They clearly have the feeling of, yeah, no one's coming to save us. It's like AFTV started to run the show on the Emirates. They they took over everything Arsenal related, starting to sell pretty much everyone that upset them. Funnily enough, for Man City, they signed Isco two years, two years too late. Isco by this point was already a washed up piece of fuck. For those of you not really informed by the Brazilian football scene, Atlético Mineiro are actually a big club in Brazil. Not huge, but big enough. That player doesn't exist, okay? The Brazilian league in FIFA has a bunch of these players with weird names that don't really exist. Since why he doesn't have a face. He's signing for Manchester United. Uh, clearly, is another sign that Manchester United just keep on following the same mistakes that they do in real life. They're signing players that don't even exist. I'm sorry, if my club in Brazil, if our club in Brazil, Flamengo, had a player, had a striker called Osval Ginato, I don't think he would have survived at least a week playing in front of our fans. Do you know the worst part? Gonzalo Higuain still has a great rating, so he's probably gonna start ahead of Firmino. I remember when back and Boo, for some reason, everybody liked Oh yeah, when he played for Villarreal. It was amazing, like FIFA 16, 17. Like, it was incredible. He had all the pace in the world because he's African. He had all the physical in the world because he's African. He could shoot well, which is funny because black people are not really that used to shooting on target. He's trying to be too much of Gerard Piquet. Oh, it's your time again to do your job. Uh, Ryan Fraser, do your stuff, John. Oh my god, he's 5'4". It's weird that back in the day, Vin Vinicius Jr. was a lot more black than he is today. Like, even his nose is bigger. 84 composure. 84 composure. Fucking shock and surprise. Man City win the league and beat it with 102 points. And despite Liverpool getting 97 points across the board, it's not even enough to be on the sniff of City. And then United and Chelsea get 92 and 91 points. And Spurs found the progress to get 90 points. In a Premier League season, 90 points would win you the league in about half of the Premier League seasons ever played. And it doesn't even qualify them for the Champions League. That version of lockdown Arsenal getting 71 points is actually quite a fucking miracle. You've got David Luiz and Chakra Mustafi in the same back line. Now, Everton got 61 points. I mean, that was the time they had Carlo Ancelotti. And ever since he left, it's pretty much like Everton got depressed, got became an alcoholic, and started to gamble their life away to build a new stadium. Crystal Palace, Aston Villa, and oh, what a, what a surprise. Norwich City gets 17 points. Norwich City, every single, every single time they're in the Premier League, they seem to waste a slot in the Premier League's history. Every single time they're in the Prem, they waste everyone's time, even their own fans. Yeah, no one would be very funny. I already think about something i already think about something extra funny and extra happy happening in this premier league season mm. can you see the table what does the table lack Swansea. Yeah! Ooh, that's kind of small cardiff do get promoted and west brom get 109 points uh no swansea in the top six though oh where's swansea oh my god Ah, they didn't get relegated to League One. Now that's a sham. That record. You just try to get something of everything. Yeah, you win some, you lose some, and then you draw some. Then you win some more, then you lose some more, then you draw some more. I'm sorry, I'm not, not, wait, pause, pause. <laughs> to anyone living in Barnsley, uh, get go to therapy. <laughs> Let's check the French League. No, we don't do that. Prize the Bundesliga as well. See Bayern lose one game all season and can see 12 goals. Fine, I'll check, I'll check the French League then. Are you fucking happy with the results I mean, that you see? Are you fucking I mean, happy? Monaco and... Leon put a good fight, I guess. Put a good fight. PSG conceded seven times all season. But FIFA 20 is one of those FIFAs that if a squad is OP, if the squad is a billion pound worth, they're putting scores on the table that would break every single record that you can think of. What do I say? Look at this table! You can get 100 points. That still won't guarantee you a league title. I hated these crests. The way they branded La Liga into this season. It, it just made everything look so bleak. It's like a, an X-ray for the crest. Like, they're all fucking being X-rayed. But yeah, uh, Barcelona going beaten. Uh, 
what did I do? <laughs> Wait, well, that was an important league right there. <laughs> that, was, that, that was a league of four crackheads. And as I said on the FIFA 19 and the FIFA 15 video, I'm tired of constantly trying to believe that Valencia can surprise me. Valencia won't surprise me. Valencia is going to keep me on hold for the rest of my life on trying to win a league. Barcelona, 106 points. Real Madrid, second with 103. Although, I will do something different. I'm going to check a different league across the world just to, for me to stop doing the same boring stuff every year. Ah, Club Bruges win it unbeaten. I, I regret I regretted checking the Belgium league. And of course, because we're in Asia, we cannot see the results of the Champions League. Hi, I'm Selena Gomez, hired by Lucas to tell you he got sacked in Denmark and got sent on a one-way trip to China. Yes, China. I know, right, crazy. Either way, I am going back to Diddy's party, but I appreciate Lucas for fucking me from behind. It was like a joke sound, like when you make a joke and it lands, you say, Isa, like a cowboy. The jokes don't land, dear. Don't, they don't, don't fly. Do don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> jokes don't land, they don't fly. Fuck you. <laughs> Can I browse for jobs? There are no available jobs. I want to leave China. Why would anyone willingly want to be in China? Except for the money. Which I assume you're not getting paid much because assuming the job that you got fired from. <laughs> Wait, can I check my contract to see how much I'm getting paid? £2,000 a week. <laughs> £2,000 a week. What's next? A sandwich? The way that you said sandwich was just too funny. I don't know why. <laughs> On a real though, I can't check the Champions League because I'm in Asia. Because it, it was the only job available, you cunt. See if there are any jobs available that you can choose that are in Europe. I just saw, I just checked it in front of your face. There's no jobs available. And I can't even quit. I can't even get fired. I'm stuck in China. No, we just checked. World news just covers more China. It's like China's the whole world. World news. Let's see the world breaking the, the world breaking news of football. Anjing dead at three. Beijing one the second the second of June 2020. This week staff performances. Gu Chao. Li Shuai, Yang Xiaotan, and um, Fernando Caranga. Uh, people, so let, let, let me rephrase. Uh, the 2020 season got cancelled. So only the leagues happened. Uh, then there's no Europa League winners. There's no Champions League winners. It's just, uh, it's just domestically that it happened. Everything got cancelled. Do you think that we could maybe sell our piss? Do you think our subscribers are dumb enough to buy it for some? If we become women, surely they're gonna buy our piss. You must be very funny at parties. <laughs> what is that Brazilian video? You must that that you showed me once that was a guy playing Minecraft while finding I think an Enderman and he's like Yeah. But like I'm the guy that takes the women to the clubs. I have a better vid a video, I have a better video to put to put on the on this uh, as a replacement because they're not gonna understand Portuguese. Uh, me me when you're girl no you, you and your girl, when your when your girl see, when your girl sees me, when when like when I'm like shirtless, nice. so, yeah. so, yeah. so, soaking wet. Vai, toma, Vai, toma. Vai, toma. We're not talking about ethics here. There's nothing unethical about eating dog. Transfer wise. Wilfred and Didi, you're too black for Bayern. While Dortmund, you have a terrible judge of character. Although Ruben Neves to Pierre Montecalcio. Then uh, Juve. It was actually a great signing. Good job, Juve. Lucas to Inter, he's not going to play. Morata's always destined to go back to Atletico. He's never he's never going to leave Atletico. Even on fucking video game. This one doesn't make sense because, because we realised that throughout the duration of the last couple of years of Gareth, ba Gareth Bale's time in Real Madrid, we just realised that, yeah, he doesn't like football. Then going to PSG is just a poor use of money and character. He's not going to be of use of any favours. Oh! So Nunez in Argentina is River Plate. Because they don't have the license. Oh! Max Ahrens to PSG. Any transfer involving Norwich with PSG. A transfer involving Norwich. A player from Norwich City with PSG. PSG. I like that FIFA wants to portray that Reese Nelson had great potential, but we, even Arsenal fans can see that this man wouldn't really attribute to much in football. My mom. Sorry, I can't do. You you do a better muscle man than anyone could ever do. <clears throat> you know who else likes to be in China? Who? 
All right, job center. Any more jobs for me to get rejected by? China, 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 China. It's just China. Oh no. Oh no. Not Scotland. Kilmarnock's objective for the season is to finish mid table. I don't care about the whole experiment anymore. I just I just want to get a job that is not in China. Why is the government seeing me as an asset to keep me on hold in their country for this whole time? Gu Wei, I don't wanna listen to your complaints, Gu Wei. Gu Wei, like go away. Why haven't you killed yourself? Wang Wei Long. More like Wang Wei Long. <laughs> Killed yourself! Kilmarnock didn't even answer to my job application. I never saw Valencia spend that much money into one player. And a player with an overall and potential that could rival the best in the world. Yeah, I remember when you said that you would never trust Valencia. Maybe you could start now, you know? No, no, I, I still don't trust them. I still don't trust them. On no way, shape, or form, I trust them. One signing of a prime Paul Pogba won't solve you shit. An 89 rated Pogba with still room to grow and potential to rise. An amazing feat that I'm very much surprised about. But then again, when Real Madrid are calmly and cautiously spending on Paolo de Bala to be their reserve centre forward, the whole point of it all just... It's lost. Again, two completely made up players. Don't stop bubbling the bubbles. Th these two are not real. Fonzo Davies to PSG. They better fucking win a Champions League if they're resolving into so much violence in the transfer market. I'd say violence. Alfonso Davies doesn't have a rating to show, meaning he's probably below 80 rating. And his value is 17 million quid. So, yeah, truth be told, yeah, they're not, they're not really invested on much at the moment. Juan Cuadrado's a masochist. He goes back to Chelsea to be a reserve right midfielder. Clearly... Nothing goes through this black man's afro's head. No, oh, I wanna be sacked. Just sack me. Sack me. What guarantees that you get a better job than China? I wanna get sacked. I, I, I wanna get out of here. Lucas then went on to sack half the squad, half the staff, and use the dressing rooms for homosexual orgies. In all hopes he could be fired from the job at Shanghai. His mom then said to stay at the job and to get out the house. He didn't listen. Well, anyway, I am gonna sing in Chinese now. Ni jido, ni awajido, ni. Ding bang, ding dong, his dong. Perfect timing. Please, please. John, do you mind if I reset? Can't. I can't be asked to be in China. I can't be asked to be in China. I don't want to be in China. The game that was supposed to be the simplest to make this experiment on is the one that's draining every bit of life of my soul because of one country. Two thousand years later. I'll tell you now a story. I was stuck in China. Could not be deported. The government was keeping me in held captivity. You're gay! And I did all this to see a table that looks like this. Liverpool go unbeaten. Liverpool get more than 100 points in a Premier League season. Liverpool get 32 wins in the entire Premier League season. And a goal difference of 77. Do you know what? Well, that's good enough. For second place, they still didn't win the fucking move. There's United still with a great point tally to rack up in third and fourth. Chelsea and Arsenal miss in Champions League. For Arsenal, that's just no... Can I switch it, please? I, I miss Leicester getting European places, man. And the three promoted. Fucking hell, Edmund. The three to come up are the three to go back down. And not not that close. They got they went back down on a 12-point difference. Fulham, West Brom, and Leeds get relegated on a way that... I don't even think they should be qualified as Premier League teams at this point. And what a surprise. Uh, the two that got relegated last season. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my god, Aston Villa did not just win the, the championship. They dropped two points all season. They were two draws away of having a perfect season. A perfect season on the championship. <laughs> what in the fucking champions? Bayern go perfect. Bayern have a perfect Bundesliga season. I thought Aston Villa's championship season was not going to be topped in any way, shape, or form. Bayern got perfect points. Two 100 points teams in the Serie A. Third and fourth have more than 90 points. What, what have I done? Great point to prove. Valencia do get 92 points in the La Liga season. Oh, and Real Madrid go unbeaten with 108 points. Can you, can you see what the top five leagues became? Yeah, someone in this court is going to be very 
very, very happy with this. As emulating to the most out of real life, Liverpool do win the Champions League again against Juventus in the final. And a Pogba finally something to talk about that can actually represent uniqueness. Valencia led by Paul Pogba in midfield win the Europa League. But for Paul Pogba's standards, for Paul Pogba's ego, and for Paul Pogba's wife, that's not something you should be proud of. Correction, uh, led by Pogba and for some weird reason, Rodri. Led by Pogba and Rodri. How did Valencia afford Rodri? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And De Gea at Arsenal. Why? I mean, this makes a lot more sense than, than Belly at Norwich, but this doesn't comfort me. Side note, Crew Alexandra have a right back called NG. Depending on the occasion, that's that might be one of the hardest names I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> John, your team doesn't know how to sign players. Uh, can I see his overall at least? I stand corrected. Wait, can, can, wait, can you do like your job, please? Five seven. Now, this I'm interested. Anderson Taliska leaving China for Ajax. Show me your rating, Taliska. It's actually not as good as I thought. And I never knew that Taliska was six three. Was Taliska actually six three? What is that salary? Milo Rashika, eighty five rated. Anyone from Kosovo cannot get to eighty five rating. But then again, he's not from Kosovo. I know he's Serbian. I mean, I don't know that, but I'm assuming, uh, in favor of Serbia, um. Long live Serbia, fuck Kosovo. Hey, Los Celso to Bayern Munich. Actually, I, I back this signing because I, I quite like Los Celso's style of play. And Tottenham is not deserving of Los Celso. And Los Celso's downfall is actually largely thanks to Bayern. No, no, to Spurs. Just to, to Spurs. In this day, Memphis Depay is a new signing of Brazilian club Corinthians. And you should have seen his unveiling in Sao Paulo. The man looked like fucking Moses, opening up the the Red Sea for all the Hebrews to pass on. The pie is actually being treated as a fucking savior, a knight in shiny armor, when in reality he's a fucking weed addict that makes shit music. If FIFA 20 was real, Donny van der Beek would not have crippling depression. So I'm kind of glad that he's at Real Madrid doing something of himself. So Trent's at Ingolstadt, he's now 29. Not really scouted, so he's not that good of a rating. Yeah, he's pretty shit now. Must be fun at parties. Like sometimes I get... Sometimes I like get my dolls uh, up in the attic, and then I I have like a like we start the day with a tea party, but then I put like some some Fetty Wap, some Tiger, some Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? And we get all like humpy dumpy, and and we start like jumping around. Like I mean I mean I jump the, around with the dolls, and the dolls jump around with me. I pretend I'm like going over one of the dolls, and say so, like, oh you you cute blonde, like let's forget all these people, let's make out. And then I make up with the dolls, and I, I don't know, and then we have sex. I mean, I, I think we had sex. I don't know what sex is. Okay, so it's not just Pogba and Rodri that have gone to Valencia. All right, Valencia, you got Trent Alexander Arnold, you got Mark Bartra, Tillerson, Francis Coquelin, he's still awful. Denzel Dumfries, Trent's backup is Denzel Dumfries. Oh, we've seen him again. Um, John, do your job. Hey, though. World Cup finalist, but never winner, Ezekiel Garay, but he's already on the decline, so who the fuck cares? Maxi Gomez! See, I think they have all the reason to, like, win La Liga. In Condogbia, with that stupid LGBTQ African flag. Cardius Milik partnering up Maxi Gomez. Danny Parejo, Gabriel Paulista. You have three strikers that could start for them. And then Paul Pogba at 89. Rodri, Carlos Soler, Davinson Sanchez. Yeah, I, I never... Yeah, yeah, yeah. K Kyle Walker. The third choice right back is Kyle fucking Walker. Interesting. Leon Bailey from Arsenal to PSG. But I get the whole connection. It's a black people club. He's black. It, it all fits. And uh, Liverpool has the two best centre-backs. Uh, not, not yet. He, he, he was at Olympiacos, don't forget. He, he was at Olympiacos. Valverde to Bayern. Yeah, this is a move that can actually happen right now. Uh, Eddie Miller Town's nowhere still healthy enough to play for Real Madrid standard. That is changing your midfield. Very nice. <laughs> I didn't understand a single word you said. They sold to Lisa and brought in Valverde. <laughs> who's better? Who's better rated? Valverde's better rated than Toliso. He's younger than Toliso. Prettier than Toliso. I mean, personally, I think that. I mean, Real Madrid did bring Yuri Tillemans, so uh, th that's not Yuri Tillemans. Ask me, like, when, I'm, when, when, when was I happy? Like, just ask me that. When was the last time you were happy? <laughs> I 
Ah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> I forgot about this text chain. <laughs> Not Man City. Not Man City. Not Man City. Fuck off. Arsenal and Tottenham do qualify for the Champions League on very respectable ground. Norwich City 12th. Guzman Dembele in 12th. This time wasn't the three that went straight back up. It was Brighton, Sheffield United and Burnley. I want to know what happened to Swansea. I just want to see the other table just to check. <laughs> Another year, no Swansea. Fulham, 107. West Brom, 105. To put in clear that the gap between the Premier League and the Championship it's enormous! Although Bristol City keep on fighting in there, finish with 93 points in third, and still dream about Premier League football. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to lose a Bundesliga game since 2018. Ventus. Yes! Taliso at five, the whole 5'11 of Taliso. See women? Shines See women. In, in a 103 point season. I, I have a lot more experience with women, but women in my family. So, like, I have this cousin, right? Team 91 team. points and still 18 points behind the champions. Valencia will never do it. Val Valencia will never do it. They're getting points tallies that can get them titles in every single other La Liga season. But the three of us get more than 100 points. I don't know how! Barcelona against Juventus. They lose the ninth Champions League final. No, not even getting past Bayern in the round of 16. <laughs> Imagine being an Arsenal fan. AC Milan having lost to Valencia last time round. They win the Europa League against Leipzig. See Red Bull? Um, if you were if you were called Monster Leipzig, Monster Energy Leipzig, you might have won the Europa League. Or you might have won the champ you you might have even won the Euros or the World Cup. But but no, no, you're not called Monster Energy Leipzig, you're called Red Bull, Leipzig. Why be supposed to be Red Bull? Who the fuck likes Red Bull? And that's someone that has a caffeine addiction, okay? That from, that's from someone that thinks a Monster Energy can will be a better father than your actual father, okay? But, uh, but I don't have a problem. I, I don't have a problem, right? Like, like, you, you can trust me, Flip. What, what the fuck am I seeing? It was 89 rated at playing in the Scottish... Premiership. Okay, the second one is almost as outrageous. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, a as if the Harry Maguire bid wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what doesn't make sense is Barley accusing actually have the having the money and the funds to afford Leo Goretzka at this stage of time. Fabinho to Barcelona. Ready wise, still the top of his powers. Deli Ali didn't end up being the Deli Ali we know today. He actually progressed a lot more with his career and ended up in Paris. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Limp I mean Olympiacos has been doing some great They had they had Ruben Diaz too. We need to check their team right now. But that's the point I think we can because the Greek League ain't in this game. So they just sign players and they don't play. Oh look, Luis Diaz. How do we check Olympiacos? Rest of World. Yeah, rest of world. Where's Olympiacos? You pass for it. Where are you they? You pass for it twice! Three times! For fuck's sake. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 we are lame. Bruno Fully. They got Kafu. Bah. Is it Demaba's brother? No, he probably is dead. He's <laughs> probably is dead. African people have no cousins. And his game Demba is Demaba. Demba and he's 86. Wait, did he get sold? He got sold. But How is he still there? He got he's sold, but he's he's back. The Liverpool just well. the Liverpool just sent the transfer bid, and he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna stay." So they just took the transfer bid, and he stayed there. <laughs> they just took the money and ran. <laughs> Ruben Diaz never left Greece. Why is his head so small? <laughs> his head is so small for his body. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> They're not even playing. They're not even playing. They don't even have a league. They have no league. It's even more absurd. They're, they're getting paid 50,000, 55,000 pounds a to week. Not, to only play the Champions League. But, and they get eliminated in the, in the group stages anyway. So they don't. They play for like two weeks and then they bunk off. Okay, piss. Wait, they have a, they have a whole mono, monopoly. Portuguese Mono player, Monopoly. Yeah. They're pretty much doing it with Hampton Wanderers. Yeah. They're pretty much becoming jo Jorge Mendes 
version of Portugal or Portugal. Team Zikas, by the way. This is probably the only content that you're gonna see that Jonathan David isn't with Leo. I don't even know how he's how he hasn't left Leo. So wait, wait. Back to <laughs> wait. Did did it wasn't he? Wasn't he headed into Milan? <laughs> Are players just going back? Are they going on loans? <laughs> Paid loans? Because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> loans, wor <laughs> loans worth 50 million pounds. <laughs> They're paying 50 million quid to loan players. Finally, a Ballon d'Or contender, Jadon Sancho, never having stepped foot in England ever again. He stayed in Dortmund and become became arguably a Ballon d'Or contender. But one thing that is not 92 rating is your hair transplant that doesn't exist. Yano Black 93. I, I, I forgot that even on, on these FIFAs, Yano Black would just be the best goalkeeper ever ever created. Jimmy Vardy at Cagliari. You know in Italy, the the alcohol of choice is wine. They don't really stand for vodka skittles. They call Sue a bind. Not, not by Barcelona, if you've already seen it. Sergey. <laughs> Sergey. Sergey. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, <laughs> what Kai Havertz should have never done, left by Oliver Cusin. You could have been a Bundesliga undefeated champion. You know what my mum does? Coke? <laughs> no, she, 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 she <laughs> left me. Also, those wages compared to the five hundred thousand pounds he was getting every week, he, he's not going to like playing. He's not going to like life. Socialista Jaifoni. Richardson was at Lazio. That's not interesting. Million. Yeah, and Olympiacos, despite not having a league, despite the players taking the whole year as vacation time, uh, they found time to destroy the whole good work, and they cash in on both Ruben Diaz and Gonzalo Guedes. Wait, could it be that perhaps, I mean, maybe not, but maybe perhaps because Olympiacos is quote-unquote rest of the world, there could be a bug where they sign them, but they don't leave? <laughs> nah. I think they actually left now. <laughs> it's a six months it's a six month loan that Olympiacos profited sixty million per player and they come back as if nothing happened. Every year they just make a hundred million out of selling players. <laughs> With everything that happened, if you say that this transfer would happen in twenty twenty one, you be the most stupid brain dead person in the world. Seeing this now it's expected. Fun fact, I still follow him on Instagram just to give him a bit of support. <laughs> <laughs> you go, man. <laughs> For those of you not aware anymore, uh, Henie used to be a jewel of Flamengo in Brazil. Uh, won the Libertadores, the South American Champions League with us, at the age of 17. And he went to Real Madrid in the same season that ha Hazard went to Real Madrid. Uh, he was promised the world, they said. I already knew in Flamengo that he was dog shit. And his career today is example that he fails at every single club he goes. I mean, at least nobody got to 100 I'm not, points, I, so that's I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk about this anymore. I have to shut my mouth. Bristol City did get to the Premier League. I have to analyze their squad later because I, I would actually put a 20 pound note onto Bristol City not even getting a close to the first division. But fair play. Enjoy your 13 points, your 15 goals scored, and be raped every week. I guess. Yeah, Watford and Sheffield United come back up with a hundred and with. 243 points combined and even though crystal palace gets 180 points is not even enough to crack automatic promotion <laughs> yes 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 it happened something different happened by leverkusen 89 points 29 wins out of 34 games and winning the bundesliga suck your dad and now we're gonna see that even psg are not even winning league on they did with 106 points and unbeaten i'm i'm going to rephrase my phrase and say rephrase that juventus didn't win syria they won syria with 101 points i'm fucking done but maybe Maybe Valencia are gonna be crowned Spanish champions, champions of La Liga. They're gonna know it's Barcelona with 106 points. That's the thing, Valencia doesn't really get that many. Valencia got three draws. Valencia got one point shot of 100 and it's still so far away from the league. Play some epic music in the back. Uh, we're gonna see that Ajax beat all the competition. But this time, no, 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 no. This time, not. They will not be crowned champions. This time, the champions are Sparta, Rotterdam. No, it's Ajax. What was even that shout? <laughs> Sparta, Rotterdam, finished 17th. <laughs> 
the only reason why Sparta Rotterdam didn't finish bottom was because for some reason the Dutch Federation put an amateur team to play the league to get nine points all season. But now it's all going to be different. Close your blinders, shut down the lights, and bring yourselves forward to the epicness of the Champions League winner, Valencia. Valencia. It's Dortmund. Okay. Big man like Marco Royce. So Bayern did nothing. That's I mean, they might have won the Pokal, but uh, who cares about the Pokal anyway? And Atletico Madrid, uh, well done. You've gone uh, for four Champions League finals without winning one. Yeah, Valencia looked up by Man City. Oh, uh, who cares? But the Europa League champion is one that you can never expect. Down from the bottom, down in the gutter, <laughs> and up to the sky. Uh, it's Olympiaco. Awesome. <laughs> Ew. That's disgusting. Ew. Nah, nah. I I'm gonna turn off the PS4 for that. I I don't wanna look at that. <laughs> so the Valverde experiment and buy and fail. I mean, not failed because 89 rating everyone. But this is inimaginable in any sense of the word today. Alexander Isaac. A uh, rating of 86. They're eh, pretty much of the rating you would imagine for him today. But at Monaco. And he's going to Schalke for 73 million. Do you know how much money Schalke have in the bank today? Schalke can even afford a prostitute. It's a miracle that Schalke even has their stadium. So this transfer just seems like fucking nuts to even happen in the first place. Ha hey, hey, hey. Hasn't Deli Ali gone to PSG? John was right. They're, they're, it, these are just expensive loans. None of these things are happening. They're just going for one year to one club for about 50 million quid. They're coming back to the original club and then going to the other club they was going for on loan for the same amount of money, if not more. Honestly, I swear to fucking Jesus that he was a PSG beforehand. Now, I'm convinced that you haven't heard of this name since 2020. Nabil Fakir being a Betis on 2020, but at this point, Real Madrid for some stupid reason. Goes to Arsenal for 70 million quid. Who would you rather have, Arsenal fans? Declan Rice or a 30-year-old Nabil Fekir? Oh, yeah, don't show this to Liverpool fans, and I'm not going to show this to John. Okay, 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 okay. So you're wanting to tell me that Schalke, the, the bankruptcy in Germany itself, Schalke 04 that cannot afford food for their kitchen. Schalke that cannot pay their players their wages. Schalke that if playing in the Bundesliga would just be a miracle for them. Alexander Isak and Marco Verratti for a combined, get this, for a combined 130 million pounds. Men's like these on all FIFA's that made me realize that FIFA had too much ambition and too much optimism for Schalke's future. That's the level that no one saw that decline a few years down the line. No one saw that they weren't paying the players wages. They were signing people for way too much money that got them in a fucking German hole in the first place. Top it all off in the summer, it's official. Olympiakos uh, is dead. Yeah, I see this happening, but for 41 million, not a fucking hope. How highly rated is Jules Conde? Uh, 83. You want me to believe he was at Club Bruges before this, then? In the last winter transfer window, we see that Valencia also ran out of fuel. Long gone are the days that I actually would expect that Valencia would pull up a fight in the top of the Liga standings. They can get to 100 points, and especially now without Pogba, they are pretty much nailed on to be dead. By the way, 75 million. You know you paid 100 million for him, right? I'm convinced that this is what Manchester United fans think of Anthony Martial deserving in football. Going to Barcelona for 61 million. What a what rating is he? 86. The day Anthony Martial gets an 86 rating, I'm going to kill myself. And lastly, Alexander Zinchenko going from the Watford transfer to Barcelona. That club deserves to be bankrupt, honestly. Not Man City. Not Man City. Not Man City. Ah! I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You're the worst. Ah! I'm beating 100 points. I'm fucking dead. On the other hand, Watford finally know how to survive in this division. That's 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 kind of something, I guess. Crystal Palace, Norwich, and Sheffield United go down. Sheffield United, yeah. What's your excuse for saying you're the worst team of all time in the Premier League? I'm not going to cover the championship. The only thing that was good to come out of the championship was Bristol City and Derby County. That's about it. Uh, yeah! Yeah! I'm right! 
All right, I'm right. I'm never right. I'm so stupid. How can I be right again? And is gonna top it all off with a Paul Pogba list Valencia winning the Spanish. Ah! You know, I'm uh, wildest dreams. Uh, <laughs> Although it's Barcelona with Alexander Zinchenko a left back. Who wins the Champions League with Alexander Zinchenko a left back? And we get the best performance of Valencia in these Champions Leagues. Uh, they, they get to the quarterfinals, only losing to the finalists. So the Leon make it, and Leverkusen. So that's arguably the most interesting Champions League we've ever seen. Not Arsenal. 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 Lela. Lela. I am announcing the Ballon d'Or winners for all my Bibicitos today. Fuck my ex-husband. 2020 was Neymar. 2021 was Mbappe. 2022 was Mbappe. 2023 was Oblak. 2024 was Sancho. And 2025 will be Luis Fonsi and James Rodriguez together. Salud los three twats. And remember, kids, seminamine yi, waka 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 waka.